All right, what's up guys? It's Christian here from CK Wraps. So today, we're gonna show you what TAC Reducer does and how to use it. So I'm gonna just demonstrate on this Audi right here. This car's being wrapped anyways. It's going in 3M uh, psychedelic, but uh, Johnson over there is wrapping it. So we're gonna show you when I apply TAC Reducer to one section and not the other, how it reacts or how the vinyl reacts to it, all right? So this is extremely beneficial when you're doing roof and hood wraps if it's extremely hot or if it's uh, or if the vinyl is extremely tacky it actually makes almost anything really easy to install so if you find that your film is being aggressive keep that in mind that you can always apply a little tack reducer so what I'm going to do is I'm going to blotch a little bit on this cloth okay make sure it's a little bit damp keep the cloth separate from the cloth that you use to prep the car with so I've already wiped this down with isopropyl and I'm going to apply tack reducer, all right? So you just kind of wipe it on. You always want to leave it about an inch, an inch to three inches from the edges. You're, and you're mainly only going to apply this on horizontal surfaces, so your flat surfaces that are horizontal, not vertical. You don't really need it on vertical surfaces. It's extremely beneficial also to use this product when you're installing chrome because chrome is extremely delicate and if you have to go to reposition the chrome and it's and it's you find it's being aggressive you're gonna you're probably gonna leave marks in it so you're gonna apply some tack reducer first and that's going to help i want to make sure i have a good area covered here so what you can do with this also is i'm just gonna go right to the edge right just so you can see the effect that it has on the entire piece of vinyl from end, from end to end. What you can do is you can let it dry to a haze. It'll dry to a haze first of all. You do not wipe that haze off. You can let it dry to a haze and then you can apply a little bit more over top of it. You can layer it up several times. I don't really think it's necessary to do it more than once, but you can do it more than once. All right, so you don't have to cover every inch also. You just want to cover most of the horizontal surface. So let's get this out of the way and let's get the vinyl going. So I'll put this vinyl over top and it's dry. I'm gonna, I'll actually zoom in so you can see that it's dry and it's not wet. That's why, it's, that's why it wouldn't be sticking because if it was wet, it wouldn't stick either. So that's all dry. So as you can see, you can see the line where the tack reducer is, all right? So look, it's, it doesn't stick really at all. Super easy, all right? Now, this piece is going to have tack reducer stuck to the back of it. You can't really see it, but it will be there. So if I go to put it somewhere else, it's going to have a similar effect. Maybe not quite as strong, but it'll have a similar effect. So let's just squeegee it down so we know that I did a good job of squeegeeing it. This is a product that's extremely useful. And let's put the other piece beside it, all right? So this has no tack reducer. So if I stick it, okay, it's, it's quite a bit different. It's a lot stickier. Let's do it again, kind of how I was doing it before. Okay, that's that one. We'll do this one now. Super easy, all right? It's like super easy. So let me squeegee this one down so you can see the difference. It won't even really actually stick in this recess here. So remember, remember, don't put the tack reducer in recess areas either. It's, it's going to have a really hard time grabbing on. All right, so let's pull this one. Look at that. Hear that? Okay. Now let's listen to this one. It's that much easier, guys, all right? So I just want to show you that demonstration on how to use tack reducer. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you need a product like this for your chrome installs or your gloss black roof wraps or anything, anything like that, shoot us an email, info at ccarasmiami.com. Again, thanks for watching. Take care.